There's an urgent need to get our unhoused neighbors off the streets as another round of wet weather is coming our way. And right now, the first set of families are moving into the trailers at the Miller Park safe site near the Sacramento River. It was once an encampment of tents, but has been transformed into a community of trailers. But this solution is only temporary. Our Devin Truby got a firsthand look. That would mean everything to us, you know. Um, this is cold out here, you know, it's wet out here, and resources are just slim. Charles Williams moved his entire life to this small strip of gravel in front of Miller Park in Sacramento in hopes that he and his husband can move into one of the trailers. Honestly, living on the street is just not key. Um, we're used to a roof over our head, and it was just unfortunate that we lost a home right before the no eviction clause for COVID. These 17 trailers will eventually offer a home to 51 people. Inside, a queen-size bed that can sleep up to three people in a family. A sink, stove, microwave, and TV won't be functional. A vast improvement to what we've had at Miller Park in the past. Previously, we have had um, vehicles where people have already been residing going into this area, as well as the safe camping area with the tents where we had so many issues in the inclement weather. So with this, we're really excited that this is something that's going to be much safer. The trailers are a result of the partnership between the city and county of Sacramento, but up until a few weeks ago, the Miller Park safe ground site was filled with around 80 tents, several bathrooms, and even electricity. The site was deemed unsafe during the January storms and was ultimately shut down. It's a battle between quality and quantity at this point. It seems yes. like tents give you quantity, this gives you quality. So mm -hmm. how do you address that? Yeah, well, the reason we address her, not the reason, but the way that we address it is that this is short term. We're going to have this here for a maximum of 60 days, going to create as much of an impact as we can with the space that we have, and we're chewing gum at the same time. We're working on this site to provide services to up to 200 people um, in, in an area where it's able to have all of the comprehensive services we really want to have. As well. Services that help the unhoused find permanent housing and care. But not everyone is happy. Garth, who recently returned to Miller Park, says this new resource wasn't created with him in mind. If you're single males, get kind of like cut out of the mix big time. You know, the, uh, females, they're always in. Families are always in. Couples, mostly. If you're single male, you're kind of asked out on a lot of stuff. And the city is working to find a site where they can hook these trailers up to water and power sources. The county is also offering weekly mental health and rehabilitation services.